Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss life cycle of which area and we will start its life cycle from plant body. So this is plant body of which area and this plant body is haploid. Now we will discuss asexual reproduction in which area. So asexual reproduction in which area occurs through three different types. First is through zoospore. So zoospores are formed inside zoosporangium and these zoosporangium forms zoospores and these zoospores we know that these are multinucleated multiflagellated and these are called syngospores they will germinate and form plant body second type of asexual reproduction occurs through aplanospores these are formed in Aplanosporangium. These aplanosporangium forms aplanospores, and these aplanospores germinates and forms plant body. Third type of asexual reproductions occurs through echinate formation. These echinates are thick walled resting spores. And these are formed under F unfavorable condition. On a returning favorable condition, they will germinate and form plant body. So these juice spores are formed in aquatic species. Aplanospores are formed in terrestrial species. Akinates are formed during unfavorable condition. So this is asexual reproduction. Now coming to sexual reproduction. <laughs> sexual reproduction in case of which area is oogamous type? Oogamous type means male gametes are motile and smaller in size, female gamete is larger in size and it is non motile. Mostly sexual reproduction, in case of sexual reproduction, the mostly they are monoecious. Means male and female reproductive structure that is oogonia and anthridia are formed on same plant body but in some species diseases type of sexual reproduction is also found <laughs> in case of monoecious we know that it is filamentous alga uh, reproductive structures may form on same filament or may form on different filament so now we will discuss sexual reproduction so in case of sexual reproduction first in this plant body, we know that a small outgrowth will occur, it will increase in size, it will bend like a horn and ultimately it will form anthridia. That is male reproductive structure. And if it is monoecious, then same plant body will also form a small outgrowth will occur through wanderplasm and that will increase in size, it will become rounded in structure and that is called oogonia. This oogonia will produce egg and this anthridia will produce male gamete that is called anthrozoids and these anthrozoids are biflagellated with unequal flagella. So there are two flagella and these are unequal one is smaller and another is larger in size. <laughs> these anthrozoids are released from anthridia on maturation they will swim and they will reach to egg that is present in oogonia so there will be zygote formation so this zygote is 2n on fertilization and after formation of zygote this zygote will secrete thick wool and it is liberated from the plant body it will germinate and it will germinate germinate by meiosis so there will be a meiosis division it will germinate by meiosis and it will form germ tube and then ultimately by germinating it will form plant body so here suppose it is here forming germ tube like this and then it is form, forming plant body. So here it is N. So in all this life cycle, you can see that all at all the events or at all the stages, there is 
haploid body. So here this plant body is haploid, this juice enzyme is haploid, juice spore are haploid, aplanospore enzyme is haploid, aplanospores are also haploid, akinates are also haploid. Here Anthridia is haploid, Ugonia is haploid, eggs are haploid and therozoids are haploid. The only diploid structure that is present in this life cycle is this zygote. Except zygote, all the structures are haploid. So, life cycle of Bucheria will be called haplontic type because here, except the zygote, all the phases are haploid and meiosis is occurring at the or you can say in zygote. So, meiosis is zygotic meiosis. So, this is life cycle of which area? Life cycle of which area is haplontic type with zygotic meiosis.